What ultimately made you make that decision to go to Kentucky? It was easy, bro. I'm easy? not going to lie. Yeah. One and done, huh? Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro, because you got, like, in the period of time where I'm I'm, in, I'm a freshman, bro, I'm seeing, you know, John Wall do the Dougie, uh, <laughs> him and DeMarcus, you see Drake, you see Hove at, at Kentucky, and then you, like, as a young kid, you see that, and then you, like, bro, these dudes going to the league. And then they go into the league and they kill it. Right. Mm-hmm. You right. know what I mean? So it was like, for me, it was like, bro, playing for Cal was, I knew that since my freshman year. You know, I might, and they might, you know, be mad. And I entertained. I went on all my visits. Stop as you yeah. the, Take that free trip. Yeah, young kids, <laughs> take, take the trip. Go Take all the visits. I did all of that. But uh, I knew in the back of my mind, I'm like, bro. And they knew too. So it was like, I knew where I was going. Yeah. It wasn't hard to say. It wasn't no like close second, like. Like a like a huh, maybe I go here, maybe here. All right, so I, it was I, just Kentucky. It was all a the couple. Way. It was a couple of different things. Like for instance, like I wanted to go to Texas. Like I grew up a Texas fan, mm-hmm. so I grew up watching KD and them dudes at Texas. Uh, but the reason why I couldn't was because uh, they sucked, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah. it was terrible <laughs> wow. like, at the time. Yeah, They're good now, but at the time, like it was awful, right? And um, like. It was a couple of things when I wanted when I went to college. Uh, one was um, the, the national championship was in Dallas that year. Mm. And I knew I was only one and done. Like, I knew I wasn't going there for more than a year. Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, the year that I'm there, I want to have a chance to win it. Um, and that year, like, we had – that was like we had, like, the highest rated class ever up until that point. So we had, like, six or seven – like, six dudes who was McDonald's All-Americans went to Kentucky. And I'm like, man, like, I want a chance to win. So I was like, I got to be a part of that. And then uh, I wanted to be one and done. And then I wanted to um, to be ready when I got to the league. So it was like, it was a no-brainer for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I like Duke. I like, like Kansas and them other schools. But, like, it was it was a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. What make Calipari so good? <laughs> what, what make – like, because he produced NBA talent. Like, yeah. no question. <laughs> they think playing in New York hard, bro. Playing for yeah. Cal was a whole no. different <laughs> I wanted to quit basketball, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? See, I I, I would have never thought. I'd never guessed. Like he just seemed like such oh, a cool yeah, I down either. the earth. I wouldn't either, bro. Yeah. He got me. He got me good. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he played me smooth. Yeah. Bro. As soon as we got there, it's six a.m. running. Uh, but, ah, but uh, no. Nah, what made Cal so? What made Cal so good, man, is uh, his ability to. Uh, and I was talking to Aaron about this the other day, bro. But like when you choose in a college and you don't realize it, but you got to choose somebody who knows how to lead young man. Right. Mm-hmm. And and that was his biggest thing. Like he going on the court, he going to push you, he going to cuss you out, he going to dog you and mentally push you there. But like a lot of the stuff that he says translates to life. Right. So like one of the biggest things I learned from him when I was there is learning how to be accountable. Like, you can't control what he does, can't control what he does, but you can be accountable for what you do every day. Mm. And that's basketball, that's life. But, like, he teach you how to be, like, a man. I was just about you know to say what I mean? That. So, yeah. like, my mom felt good sending me there. Mm. You know, okay. And knew that he was going to take care of me like I was one of his own. Damn, so he cover every track. Awesome. So he's great <clears throat> on the court, great off the court. Yeah. I mean, just his development, his production. Like, I, and I was talking to John about this, John Wall. <clears throat> it's almost like he encouraged y'all to go to the next level. Like, some some of these coaches is like, nah, like, y'all stay back. Yeah. Like, let's he, – he's thinking – they thinking more so about, you know, tradition for the college, winning, you know, a championship for the college. Yeah. Where John was like, nah, it almost is like he encouraged us to go to that next level. Like he he's developing us to get to that point. Yeah, he that's, not, that's 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 kind of on point. Yeah, that's definitely that's what it is, bro. Like he gonna tell you that when he come in your in your living room. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not trying to keep you here, mm-hmm. and I can respect that. Like like I'm not trying. I'm trying to prepare you for the next level as a as a person, mm-hmm. you know. But as a as a um, as a basketball player as well, and like. <laughs> it's funny, man, because he's so Cal, – Cal can't help himself but to be real, bro. Yeah. So it was like we, we played in the national championship that year, right, and we lost. So I'm I'm hurt. Another time I'm hurt. And he bring everybody in. Like we had to – we go back to the hotel. He bring everybody in. And he's like, all right, I'm meet, going to meet with everybody individually tonight and, you know, just talk and uh, about your future and stuff. So we meet with him. <laughs> and we I meet with him at night and he like <laughs> – 
bro, don't even think about coming back. <laughs> just <laughs> lost the championship. He's like, I'm telling you, it was like, ain't no reason for you to come back. I'm not letting you come back. Yeah. Like, if you want to stay here in Dallas, stay here in Dallas, bro, <laughs> but you're not coming back. So, like, yeah, he, he, not, he not trying to hold you back at all. Yeah. He a real one. That's no, what's he up. definitely a real one. Shout out to Cal, man. Yeah. Shout out to Cal, Shout baby. Cal, and he still, he, and, and you know the dope thing about him too is, bro, like that relationship lasts forever. Like I called him last year and I needed uh, help with some mm -hmm. you know, somebody in my family uh, or somebody in my wife family in Kentucky got sick. And like Cal, like he like the mayor in Kentucky. Whatever mm -hmm. he can call anybody, mm -hmm. and anything gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, like he took care of my family uh, out there, like. He check up on you. He come on Nick games. Like he a real one, bro. Like yeah. that relationship don't don't die just because you leave Kentucky, bro. It's that. Right. This goes perfect right into my question. Ah, look, let me see your phone. See your phone. You got your phone on you? Yeah, see your phone. Can sure. I oh, he knows you. Put, so I can put my phone number up in here, you know, because when I'm on set. You know what I'm saying? I'll be doing these movies and stuff. I keep in contact with my other cast members. When I got it over, right? <laughs> <laughs> like what you did there. You know yeah, 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 that's smooth. Yeah, yeah, that, I, 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 that was good. So with that all said, we know Kentucky got a huge alumni that's yeah. in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we had your boy in that same chair, Carl Anthony Towns. You know, I want to know when you need to learn your lines. I'm going to say lines, but we talking about your, you know, your workout. What do you do? Do y'all got a group chat? Do y'all call each other? Do y'all say, let's go to the movies? Like, what, what is it, man? Nah, we ain't got none of that. Like, <laughs> I ain't got none of that. Nah. Wow. I'll be honest. Like, we don't like, we ain't going like, uh, like group chat or whatever. Like, if you cool, know somebody, like, I know John, I know Cat. Like, so you'll talk to them guys, but like, yeah. Dudes ain't gonna go. I mean, that's a little unrealistic. Unrealistic. Dudes gonna go out their way and be like, you know. But why don't y'all? I mean, we can. Like, I. It, the thing is, like, when I see Boogie, I see AD, I see John. Like, it's love, and like, I got real relationships with dudes, right? Uh, just because I went there. Mm -hmm. right, but right. the thing is, what's crazy is, bro. Like, you go, you play on any team, damn near, and it's a Kentucky player, bro. So, like, the bond is there automatic, right? Like, every team that I'm playing on, like, somebody from Kentucky been on there. Whether I was in New Orleans with AD, now I got, you know, Quick and other dudes who who played there. So, it's like, you can, like, I might have not never knew you, right, before. But because you went to Kentucky, bro, like, automatically, yeah, we like got fam. something in common. Like, we knew each other the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, because Cal ain't changing for nobody, so we all go through the same <laughs> shit out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it wasn't like, when, so while you was there, it wasn't like, like, because I'm sure, like, they tap in, right? Like, when you was there, oh sure no, Andy everybody and them tap in with y'all. Yeah, they all, bro, like, but that's what, that's what the, uh, that's what all of them did. Yeah. Like, they all came back. We all played pickup with each other. Yeah. Like, we all, like, connected, you know, with that's the other That's and a I crazy that environment too, right there. Like, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's cool. a crazy environment. So y'all go into the college shit like this shit light. <laughs> we we get to go nah, against John bro. Wall in the summers. We get to go. That's against. what I thought. That was that's yeah. when I thought it was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and then we lost that first game. Yeah. And we went to curfew and. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Cal went crazy <laughs> on us, bro. <laughs> uh, let me he snap it. Let's 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 snap this shit together, fellas. All right, Jackie. It's kind of sad, but the NBA season is done. But that doesn't mean that Prize Picks is done. What's the next sport that you're going to be making some money on? Golf, baby. You know I'm all up into that. <laughs> Look, the U.S. Open was in Los Angeles this past week, and my guys John Rom and Brooks got me up big time, baby. But wait, wait. I'm too hyper. Let the people know what Prize Picks is. So Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players, like the video on your screen then you pick if they will have more or less than their prize picks projection you aren't competing against other people it's just you versus the projections available look i know how much i won but tell the people on prize picks how much they can win dallas so you guys can win up to 25 times your money on any entry and on top of that all first time users that deposit and use our promo code podcast p will receive a hundred percent instant deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That means if you deposit twenty dollars, Prize Picks will give you twenty dollars. If you deposit one hundred dollars, Prize Picks will give you one hundred dollars. And y'all already know what time it is. Cha-ching! Cha